Hi everyone, Jack the Buzz here. So, uh, I got this really fun idea to do a candy flower lay mixing with like a traditional way of braiding a lay with like a contemporary of, you know, candy lay. So, I thought that would be really fun to do. And yeah, so this is how it's going to look like. Um, it's going to be mostly fern and then little candy roses. Uh, it's going to be really fun. So, yeah, so, yeah, let's get started. Okay, so we're going to start constructing our little roses for our, our lay, our little candy lay. Um, to do that, basically, get your kiss, your cellophane, and then you just wrap it, kind of like how i shown you with my 3D candy lay. Get your tie. and always double knot. And then you're going to get your little fuzzy pipe cleaner thingies and then just wrap it around. Make sure it's on tight. And just adjust it a bit. Get your knife or scissors and curl. If you have green ribbon, I would suggest use that instead because it'll look like those green petals under the roses and flowers and stuff like that. So that'll look kind of cute. It's just what red I have on hand, so that's basically it. Um, you want your stem kind of long just because you're going to be tying it against uh, the braid. But you don't want it too long, but it's a lot safer just to have it a little longer because you always could cut it later. So that's about it. So next, we're basically just going to prepare our ferns for the lay. Um, it's like super simple. You just basically cut where it sections off. So like right there, there, there. Just super easy. And if it's still kind of ugly like that, just cut it. Doesn't really matter. There. Hmm. You can still use that, that's fine. I like to use the crowns. And basically, that's basically it. You just keep on cutting. Okay, that's it. Okay, so now we have our pile of fern. And I guess we're going to start uh, constructing. So... This is Rafia, and this is what you're going to be using. And Rocky, you stay there. <laughs> no, stay, stay. Okay. Um, basically, you just get a big handful. Just like, sort of, that's kind of about that thickness. And then find your longest one. Let me use this one. Yeah. So basically, this is gonna be where everything is gonna go on, and this is what you're gonna be using to wrap it. And this part gets pretty tricky. Rocky, stop! Be a good boy. This part gets pretty tricky. So get your fern, hold it in place. This is your main part, which is like called the bone, basically, and then you basically do a wrap. And make sure it's tight, but not too tight so that the stem would break. You could do it another, t one, another time if you want, but one's pretty enough if you do it right. And then you just keep on doing that. So you place and wrap, place and wrap. And if the stem is too long like that, just cut. And each time you wrap, you keep going down. Yeah. Basically like that. So the back, if done right, is supposed to fill up. So you don't really supposed to see all this green there. So each time you wrap, it basically makes it order like that. 
Well, that's basically it. You just keep doing that. So place and wrap. And when you have like a good fullness there, let's get one of your little candy roses and place it. You could do like whatever length you want. This one's actually kind of long, so I'm going to cut that. So let's do that there. Let's do another one. That's basically it. Get another fern. Could arrange it if you want. Yeah. That's basically it. You just keep on doing that over and over until it's full. And hopefully you don't try to hide the candy like I'm doing. This is basically an experiment. I got this idea like out of the rip, like out of the top of my head. So hopefully this kind of works out. So yeah. Okay, you can stop. So it's basically been 30 minutes and this is my progress so far. As you can see, it's super full. <laughs> Um, yeah, so this is basically almost half of the lay. So yeah, that's basically you just have to keep on wrapping. And if you're curious of how to, if you ever run out of the wrapping, um, raffia, um, there's different ways to do it. One way that I do it sometimes is I just basically just tie it on, and, you know, just knot it of like to continue it. Or the other way is to tie it on here and then get another one and tie it and keep on going. But I go either way, it doesn't really matter, I think, but as long as it's tight and as long as it stays on, that's all, that's really all that matters, so. Yeah, so this is the progress, and yeah, so we just keep on going, and hopefully I'll be done in another 30 or 40 minutes from now. So yeah. So, having so much fun making this lay, <laughs> uh, we're almost late to my friend's graduation um, ceremony, and I'm actually making this lay for him, and it's still not complete, so hopefully driving there, and when everyone's walking to get their, you know, ceremony stuff, diploma, whatever stuff done, <laughs> I will be able to finish. So yeah, we're rushing to the school now, and hopefully I finish on time. Bro. Wow.